Hi everybody, I'm Sarah Damon and I'm the resident play expert here at Razor and Bow. And today I'm here to talk to you all about how important toys are in your child's development. Now what we know about the way that children develop and learn is that for our under fives, the best possible way they can do this is through play. So of course, toys are going to have a really big impact on the way that your child develops. Now here in the UK, we have a curriculum for our under fives known as the Early Years Foundation stage. And that's split into two different areas. We focus on first the under threes and then the over threes. And with the under threes, there are three prime areas that we want children to develop really strong foundations in. And those are personal, social and emotional development, communication and language and physical development. The idea is that when children develop really strong foundations in these areas, once they're over three, they can start to move on to more specific areas of learning, such as literacy and maths. So when we're thinking about the kinds of toys that we can select to support our children with the development, the good news is that research has shown us that actually when it comes to play, it's all about quality and not quantity. In fact, studies have shown that toddlers who have less toys rather than more have more high quality and more focused play. So therefore they're going to be learning more. Now, when we are selecting the kind of toys that we want our children to play with, there are a few things for us to consider. And the number one thing is that toys are open-ended. That's the most important thing because it means that toys can take on a whole new life form, they can be used in all kinds of different games and also they're going to see your children through the years of their development and children create such wonderful attachments with these toys and they're able to change the way that they're used and take them with them in their learning. The other thing that along with that we want to be considering is how well made are these toys? Are they going to stand the test of time? We of course have to think about that environmentally, but also for our children's learning. Is this going to be something that children are going to be able to use and keep building upon as they develop and grow? Alongside that as well, it's so lovely, isn't it, when we see that something we've bought for a child is used within our family. You might be able to pass it on to friends or family members. And that has that lovely sentimental feeling that we get when we see our children perhaps playing with something that we had as a child. It's a lovely thing to be able to give some longevity to. So one of my favourite open-ended resources that we have here at Rosa and Bow are our nesting babies and I'm going to talk you through those areas development and how they can be used alongside the nesting babies. So starting with personal, social and emotional development. Young children learn so much from watching our expressions, watching our faces. It's why they love games like peekaboo so much. And the painted faces that are on the nesting babies can support your child with learning about different features and that's a talking point for your child but also learning about different expressions and what they mean. It's a brilliant starting opportunity for you to have that chat with your young child. Moving on to communication and language. Did you know that in order for a child to distinguish sounds when they are learning to read, they need to be able to distinguish between different environmental sounds? And so within, the very middle of our nesting babies is a chiming bow bunny so your child can have loads of fun whilst taking the babies apart and getting to the middle and then being able to listen to the chiming bow bunny is really going to help that sense of hearing develop and you know that in the future that's going to help them with their reading skills as well. And then finally on to physical development. When we're looking at motor skills, we look at fine and gross motor skills. So they're the small movements, but then the bigger movements that we make as well. And the benefit of the nesting babies is that they work on both. Because when children are taking the nesting babies apart, that's more working on the larger gross motor skills. But when they're putting them back together, and that's a skill that comes later. So this is going to support your child from when they are very young to as they're getting older to be able to put the nesting babies back together. You're working on both those skills there. 
Now, when it comes to child development, it's so important to remember that every child develops differently. And if you ever have any concerns about your child's development, please go and speak to a professional just to allay any worries that you might have and also access any support that might be suitable for your child. I hope that you've really enjoyed this video. Let us know in the comments if you have. If you want to know more about this topic, head to the link in our bio because there's a blog that I've written all about how toys can support your child's development. And feel free to come over and join me on my account, which is at Sarah L. Doman, for more information just like this.